Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. So I wanna do a video today um, about cheap men, okay? This is to all you cheap men, okay? Ladies, yeah, the video's for you too, so you can laugh. <laughs> but this is mainly a message to cheap men who don't like to spend money on women or don't think that they need to spend money on their girlfriend, wife, or person they're trying to date. This is for you, okay? So, and I'm not mad. I'm just gonna state some facts and let y'all go from there. So, if you're trying to date a woman and you don't feel it's necessary to uh, pay for dates or spend money on them, you know, while you're dating, and you really like this person, y'all get along really well, you know, she fell for the bait to go out on a free date with you or a coffee date or a walk in the park date, some cheap date that uh, insulted her as a female, she decided, hey, she liked you, she's gonna go check you out, she went on this cheap date, right? Um, so you think you got a girl, you think you got the perfect woman because she likes you for you, not your money, and y'all just get along, y'all have connected, you didn't spend no money, you're thinking this is a perfect woman, you're thinking about wife and this woman, you're like, oh my God, she is the one, I'm taking her home to mother. And then one day she stops texting you or she doesn't text back right away or she's busy when you ask her out again or this, this and that. And you're wondering, oh, what happened? We had such a connection. She found somebody to pay for her dates, okay? She found someone where when she goes out on a date, they actually pay for it or takes her to nicer places or offers her more than you've offered her. And, you know, they also have a connection and he probably, you know, uh, seems more masculine to her since he can take care of the bill. So that's a very, you know, sexual attraction going on right there. Um, so now you're left high and dry. Your girl's not answering the phone anymore because she's on real dates, okay? And when she calls you finally after her date, after she's eating good and, that, and her wallet's still full, she calls you because she feels bad that she actually enjoyed herself with another man who could actually pay for her. Now she feels like, oh my God, I can't go backwards. You know, this man that I like, he's so sweet, he's kind and da da da, but I feel so much more feminine and I feel so much more um, wanted and valued with this other man because, you know, he's paying for things. So I don't know how I'm gonna let this guy go. What do I tell him? You know, it's, it's, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> so you end up losing your girl to a man who can't afford to date or who can't afford to treat her like she wants to be treated, even though she didn't know she wanted to be treated like that and she didn't expect it. But when it was given, she now has a choice to make and she's gonna go with that choice, okay? Because it's easier for her, it makes her feel more feminine, more wanted, more valued, and taken more seriously. And then she's also seeing him as good husband material because he's a provider. So now you've been left and then you might see her or you know see on Facebook or find out somehow that she's dating a man with more money than you and then you get mad at women in general because this woman left you for somebody with more money and so now you label all women gold diggers and you don't trust them and da, da, da. that happens to a lot of guys but the whole moral of the story is you can't be cheap and expect to keep a woman that another man is willing to provide for okay they're out there believe me okay they're out there I got um, I got lots of like uh, people that I know that message me and tell me you know uh, I was dating this guy and he you know we really had a connection but then I met this other guy and he wants to you know uh, take me here and there what do I do go I, t I always tell him go with the guy with the more with the more money because they value you the guy that offers you nothing, he'll be there when you get back, believe me, because he has nothing else to offer you but himself, okay? Uh, and if he's not there when you get back, he's still uh, going to be the same and he's not going to give you what this other guy can, you know? Uh, 
And then I, I also have a lot of problem with, oh, but I, I was in love with him and he just didn't have enough money for me and I really would have stayed, but you know, I can't live poor, you know, I don't want to live poor. Um, I wanted to do better with my life and he was not ambitious and he wasn't doing this, this and that for me. So I had to leave. So if, a, if, a, if you're giving your woman reason to leave you and to talk to other men because you're so cheap, you are, you're running your own woman away because you can't step up to the plate and, um, you know, be a provider. So you're pushing your woman away to other guys when you're cheap. You're saying, hey, I'm cheap. You're not worth that much. We're going to spend time together, but I'm not going to spend no money on you. And so when she meets a guy who says the opposite, she's going to go for that. It's going to, it's going to be like, oh my God, really? You think I'm worth it? And they're going to be taken away from you very easily. So now there are some women who will stay with you, even though a rich man offers them selves to them. Um, but they're going to regret it later on. They're always going to resent you down the line. They're going to be like, I should have went with that guy. We would have, I could have had a pool or I could have had this or I could have had a nice car. I'm here stuck with you. Ugh. What's love got to do? I don't love you no more. Ugh. The feeling is worn off. Now I'm just sitting here with you looking at you, you know. So ladies, if you're ever with a cheap man, remember, always leave yourself open to upgrade. Okay, men, if you are cheap, know that your woman is always looking to upgrade. Okay, don't don't get comfortable. If you're cheap, never get comfortable because she's not staying. <laughs> Believe me, uh, unless she's cheap and she values that in you and y'all are like coupon buddies, clipping coupons, going to Golden Corral and living it up. You know, and if that's your dream woman and you're her dream man, then kudos. You know, there are people that are happy living that type of lifestyle. But there are people who see that as a nightmare. And you can't blame them for that because they grew up with more. So if they grew up with more and they expect more, even if they didn't grow up with nothing and they just want more, you can't be upset at women for that. Okay. So, man, I'm trying to tell y'all, don't leave room for other women to snatch your, I mean, other men to snatch your woman. Buy her something, pay for something, or you're going to be buying lotion. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.